Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Donda's Life and this is Out West by Mad Art Studios. I love this painting. This painting is so cool. You just feel the movement in it. Um, but so far I have completed an A3 light size or light pad size section over here. Uh, last time I did the whip and chat, we got the houses done and then I finished off the rest of it. And now I am working on this section over here. So you can see I got some of it done here and then I've just been kind of working up these sections here. So really, really having fun with this one. Um, it just kind of, you work in the, the, the way that it moves. And so that's been a little bit fun for me. Um, but today, so like I said, I'm doing a whip and chat. Uh, just gonna catch you guys up on some of the shenanigans going on in my crazy freaking life. <laughs> anyway, I think the first section I'm going to do is this black. So I've continued to use the Diamond Art Club wax. I did go back to my plastic tip, uh, my multi-placing tip, because I don't know if you guys caught this on the last one, but the metal tips that I ordered off of Etsy were not actually stainless steel. They peeled and kind of flaked off uh, uh, very shortly after I started using them. So I have actually ordered some more metal tips. They're coming in from, I think France is where they're coming from. And so I'm not exactly sure when they're going to arrive, but until then I'll just continue to use these because these work really well. It's just that they, they break down. So this is a five placer I believe I have on here. Yeah, it's a five placer. So if you guys don't already know, WIP stands for work in progress, which is my work in progress and your work in progress. And the chat portion uh, is just me babbling away about, like I said, shenanigans in life. So you guys feel free to grab whatever it is you're working on. If it's not a diamond painting, grab whatever it is. Uh, plug in your earphones while you're doing your housework, whatever you do. I've done it all. <laughs> I've kept myself busy and then I've also just like sat and watched. So you do you. Like I said, I'm going to work on this black section and get that all worked out. I don't think I'm going to go super high. I like to keep my plastic covering as much as possible just to, to protect the sticky portion of the painting, but also um, now that I'm up a little bit higher, this, when you first start in a section, um, I have uh, lots of times I have to use release paper so that I don't stick my hand to it. I do that often. And as I get higher, that happens too. And I'm old and jittery and I I'm not like super steady. I couldn't be a doctor. Let's just put it that way. And I mean, I don't know if I'd want to be a doctor in this era. So I hope everything's going good with you guys. Um, one thing I will ask, if you guys do like these kind of videos, um, if you could give me a thumbs up, I would... Oh, am I doing this right? Oh, jeez, I can freaking never do this. Give me a thumbs up um, if you like these types of videos. And then also, I hope that you will consider subscribing to the channel uh, to make our community bigger and better. I hope you guys have some uh, fun, interesting things going on in your life. What has been going on with me? Okay, so yeah, actually there was like, there's a couple things that I was gonna talk about because like, I, they're just so, whatever. The first one is like unflippin' believable. Um, so I went on Amazon and got myself a, this was a while back, um, it took a while to come in, but I got a Cricut machine. I just got, I didn't get the maker. I got the Explore and I waited for that one to come in. And I, as you know, or at least I think, um, you can track the progress of the shipment as it's moving across. Oh my God, that scared me. That is my husband. Hello? Hi? What? Okay. I'll be right there. Okay, bye. Soon after. Okay, sorry guys, that was my husband. <laughs> he just arrived home from work early and the garage door wouldn't open. And that's actually another story I have to tell you today, but anyway. Okay, so like 
Like I was saying, I ordered this Cricut. I'm watching it progress across Canada. And uh, I knew that it was going to be delivered on a certain day. I think it was the 13th of January or something like that. Anyway, I'm waiting for it. I figured, okay, fine. You know, sometimes they don't get all of their stuff delivered in a day. I didn't get it. Actually, you know what? I'm really distracted. Give me one second. I'm gonna just tell my husband that I'm shutting the door. <sighs> so where was I? Amazon. Okay. So I'm waiting for this package to arrive. Um, it's getting later in the evening. It hasn't come. And uh, so I just assumed that I would get it the next day. And then I get this phone call. Thank goodness they put my phone number on the package, but it's this little old lady saying that she's received a package from me or for me. Anyways, like what are the chances of that? Like honestly, and it's so nice to know that there are people who are honest. And um, so she called me and she said that she had the package and it was sitting at her house. And if she wanted, um, she could arrange to just have it sent back or I could come and get it. And so I went and got it. It was the same house number, but on the other, like the north instead of south. And that's where the mistake was made. But anyway, so I went and got the package. Oh my God, it was so heavy. Um, and they put it in like this huge box. But anyway, so her house had about, I think it was like six or eight cement steps going up to her front door and they weren't shoveled. Now, mind you, this was an older lady and um, quite a bit older and so I mean whatever I'm not gonna say anything about that but I'm like my god you know this should have been on my front doorstep and it, yeah, whatever it gets sent to the wrong house so I called Amazon to let them know that this mistake had been made and so when I called the woman was like well we've got the notification that it was delivered to your house she's like check you should have a notification too and at the end I at this point, I'm like, where would I have gotten the notification? Like, I didn't get a text. Like, how, how, she's like, please check. So I, I'm, I finally am like, well, okay, where am I supposed to check? And she said, check your email. So I did check my email and sure enough, um, the company sent me an email and I'm looking at it and she's like, see, it's delivered. They, they took a picture. They, they, um, there's proof that it was delivered. And I said, that's not my house. <laughs> I'm like, Google my house. If you Google my house, my house is on Google. <laughs> it's not even the same color. Anyway, so uh, um, she's like, oh my, you know, she was very apologetic. And I said, I just wanted you guys to know that that happened. Like I, I've never had a delivery from this company before. This must be a new company you guys are dealing with you know, whatever the mistake was made and you should be aware. Cause I mean, thank goodness this woman was honest. Actually, I, I hadn't said that yet, but I said, I, I was just saying like, you know, you guys should be aware. And so she, she says, well, we're going to give you a refund. She's like, yeah, I'm going to do an account adjustment. We'll just, um, we'll just refund you and then we can resend it out. Or you can, um, if you have a different way that you want to buy it, that's fine. I said, I don't think you understand. I said, I, I went and got it. I said, and, the, and then I explained that that was another frustration too, that, you know, I had to go and pick it up and this poor lady had to receive it. So she did a, an account adjustment of, I think she said 40% of, no, 30%, a 30% discount on the price. And I was like, oh, wow. And she said, I appreciate your honesty, actually. She said, you didn't have to tell me that, um, that you had received it. And, uh, and I was about to give you a full refund and you know, you, that whatever. So I was like, well, wow, thank you. And so she said it would appear in my account in three to five days back on my credit card, whatever. So that was on the 13th, <laughs> uh, on the 31st, on the 31st, I called back and I'm like, Okay. Well, actually, no, there was one time about a week after I called because it still hadn't shown up on my card. And she said, just give it, or another person said, just give it a couple more days. It should be there. Don't worry. It, I, we're looking at it on our system. And then, um, and then I waited until the 31st. So on the 31st, I, before I even called Amazon, um, I called the credit card company 
because it wasn't showing up as like a uh, pending transaction, like nothing. It was showing nothing. But I thought maybe there was something in their back end. Um, and so they checked and no. And so they put me through to disputes. And I was saying like, this isn't, it's not a dispute. I, I have the, the package. I'm not trying to say that I don't have it. Um, I'm just saying that Amazon said they were going to uh, give me an account adjustment and it's not showing up and so I'm concerned. She said, nope, that is the dispute section. So then she, they put me through to the dispute section and he's like, well, we don't really handle, you know, where it is, but he said, you, you actually can dispute this. Um, he said, that would be the only way I could help you. And I said, well, and then I explained the same thing. I don't want to dispute it. It's, I, ha I have the item, but I just, for some reason, this discount isn't showing, or this refund isn't showing up, and uh, I need to find out why. And so he said, well, in actuality, you didn't. He said, technically, this is coming from the dispute department of the credit card, okay? He said, technically, you didn't receive the item. Somebody else did. And the fact that you you have it um, doesn't mean anything in regards to whether you received it. You did not receive it, he said. So we could do a dispute. <laughs> so I said, okay, um, I, I don't want to do that. Let me call Amazon again and try to find out what's going on on there and before I take that next step. Because to me, that just seems so, like, a bit much. And so I call Amazon. I got a guy that was so, he frustrated me to no end. So he's telling me, no, nope, we've done the refund. And I said, yes, but I'm telling you, it's not, it's, it, it, I haven't received it. And you guys processed it on the 13th. I've got the email that says it's processed and it would take three to five days and it's still not there. And he said, yeah, and I'm seeing it and we've done it. And I'm like, but I don't have it. He said, check your check your credit card. I did. I, that's why I'm calling you. And he's like, well, we have it. And then he, he, um, let me just talk to my superior. And then he's like, no, we've checked on our end. You have it. You just have to check your credit card. I'm like, what part of this are you not understanding? I did check my credit card. I've actually spoken with my credit card. And that is why I'm calling you because they're saying they don't have it. And you're telling me that they do. So how do we fix this? And uh, he's like, well, you could dispute it. Um, and then he, he's like, but I'm, I'm seeing it right on here. If I try to give you, um, if I try to process that refund, it won't let me. It will only let me process a refund for the balance. And I said, well, that's great. Like, like how do I figure this out now? <laughs> he's like, you know what? I'm just going to refund the rest of it. Uh, what? <laughs> he said, yep, I'll just refund the rest of it. I don't know how that's supposed to help the situation. I mean, if I don't have the first refund, I don't know how the second one is going to make a difference, but I'm like, okay. And then he comes back on the line and he's like, okay, that's, that's processed. Um, that'll be in your account in three to five days. <laughs> and I'm like, I said, do you, sir, like, do you understand that I have, I have the machine here? And he said, yes. And I said, well, I don't want to return it. Like, I, I, I bought it because I wanted it. Like, I'm confused. <laughs> and he goes, let me talk to my supervisor. Just one second. And then he comes back on the line. Or two minutes. They always say, can you hold for two minutes? Um, comes back on the line and he's like, yep. So, um, if you, if you get it back and I'm like, I have it, <laughs> he said, yes, ma'am. If you get it back, um, you can keep it for your trouble. And I'm like, what? Okay, fine. So I'm sitting here. That was a few days ago. I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, well, I guess I'll just wait a few more days and, um, see if this thing shows up in my account and if it doesn't then I guess I will just go through the credit card and dispute it and uh, go from there and anyways I checked today so that was on the 31st it's now the 2nd of February as I'm filming this and the first credit just showed up today I'm like what <laughs> like 
And I kept saying to them, do you realize I have it? I have the machine. I'm not saying I don't have the machine. I didn't even ask, like I didn't ask for any kind of a credit. I was just calling to tell you guys that there is an issue with your transportation company that you should be aware of. And you guys issued me this like convenience credit ad or account adjustment. I was just calling because I, I hadn't received it. Anyway, whatever. So I'm just like saying that over and over now. But yeah, so I ended up with this uh, cricket <laughs> for free. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, anyways. So yesterday I posted a video of all the paintings I did in 2021. Um, this is like the second thing. Maybe it's karma. I don't know. But I don't think I did anything wrong because, like I said, I didn't phone with the intention to get any kind of a credit. I phoned with the intention to tell them what was going on with this company. I can't remember the name of the company because I've got the email downstairs, but it was it's like not like UPS or something mainstream or so um, I'm filming my video and I had to go out and pick up some groceries. So I filmed the video before I went out because I knew if I went and picked up groceries, I wasn't going to feel like filming a video. Got that done and was getting ready to walk out the door and I have this app on my phone. So I have a Hyundai um, Kona. There is no remote start on it. Um, but how you start it, they have they it's all through an app now. Um, it's called the Blue Link app, and um, so you open it up and just press start your vehicle. And um, it, I get this message saying my vehicle is unreachable. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> so I'm thinking, okay, like what is going on? Where is my car? So there's this also, like there's a whole bunch of things you can do with it. You can um, find out um, how much gas you have in it. You can find your vehicle. It will locate it for you. Uh, it will tell you how many kilometers you drove in a month. Like it's it's actually quite cool. I personally, so far as a remote start, would prefer a push button remote start because I don't find the app is as reliable if you don't start your car for... I think it's 48 hours. Um, it, the app will not start your car. You have to physically start it before it will start it again. I think that's stupid. Um, but anyway, so I'm like, I go on to the find my car because I'm thinking, what the hell's going on? Why is my car unreachable? And it's saying that it can't locate my car. So I'm like, what the hell is going on? So I, I, grabbed my keys, I, I put on my boots, I'm going out to the garage. The garage door's frozen shut. We had a massive winter storm here the other day um, that blew snow everywhere and it's been super, super cold again. And uh, so I can't open the door. So I'm calling my husband, I can't get into the garage. And he's like, oh, the door's just frozen shut. I'm like, are you sure that you like watched the door shut in the morning and he's like uh yeah why and I said because my car's unreachable and now I can't get into the garage like I'm thinking here in my head my like uh, with all all the stuff I'm always seeing happen or hearing happen I'm thinking like somebody broke into the garage and then locked the door and from the inside so I'm thinking I can't get into the garage and um my somebody stole my vehicle and that's why it can't communicate and maybe like they ripped up out I don't know maybe they knew how to rip out the GPS or whatever like my brain goes wild and so I come back he's like no I closed the door I'm sure I did so I come back in the house and I'm walking past my kitchen window and I notice this guy standing across the street like literally Blair Witch style you know I don't know if you've ever seen that movie but at the very end there's this scene where the guy is like turned to the corner and he's just staring straight at the wall. Um, it was one of the creepiest things I ever saw in a movie. I mean, it literally made my skin curl when I saw it, but now it's kind of funny. Um, but he's standing, just staring at the apartment building and he's not moving and I'm watching him and literally he's like a statue, not moving. It, all of this is like all happening at the same time and so I'm weirded out. Can't reach my vehicle, I can't get into my garage. Um, the, the door's frozen shut. There's this guy standing Blair Witch style staring at an apartment building. Uh, and literally, I, I watched him. I was freaked out because what I wanted to do was like leave out my front door, go around to the alley, and then enter the garage um, from the 
the garage overhead door, but I didn't want to go outside because this guy was freaking me out. So whatever. Like, oh. Finally, he moved. I, I sat and watched him. I, he was there um, for well over five minutes. I would say actually um, maybe even 10 minutes. Uh, and like, there's part of me thinking like, I, I don't know, should I phone the police? Like, this is weird. But what are the police going to do? They're going to say the guy's just standing on the street. Like, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> like, let's go, let's go arrest a guy. But I mean, he looked suspicious. He did. It was weird. Anyway, um, so finally he let, he, he did eventually leave. And so I went and walked around, go to open up my garage. And we've been having this trouble with it lately. And we thought it was the sensors. Um, sometimes in the summertime, a spider will build a web in front of the sensor. And then um, you, the garage door, it'll, it'll go to close, but then it'll bounce back up. But this is the opposite. It was like when we were trying to open it, it would go up a couple of feet and then just stop. And we would have to go up, down, up, down about five or six times. And then finally it would go up. Um, and we thought we fixed it and, and we were having no problems with it because we did notice some debris, um, on one of the sensors. And so once we cleared that off, it seemed to be working fine again. And then I go out there to get into the garage and it's doing that. I'm like, what are the chances of all of this happening in, in like one, whatever. So it opened up about, oh, maybe two and a half feet. And I, I had, I sat there and I, it probably did it about 10 or 15 times and thought, wow, this is not normal. So I just gave up and I decided I was just going to crawl in, um, like go under the door. Maybe it was about three feet. It opened. I could see my vehicle in there. And so that was good. I, I felt better about that. But anyways, I, so I crawled under and as I'm crawling under, it's like super icy and it's like cement with compacted snow. I take a step. Uh, like as I'm trying to shimmy under and slip and fall. <laughs> I mean, at least it wasn't like I wasn't standing up full. I was kind of in a crouch down position. So it's not like I had far to go, but my God, if anybody was watching that, um, I'm sure they got a good laugh. But anyway, so I get into the garage and I go to start my vehicle. At this point, I'd been standing outside. I think it was minus 40. Um, I only had my jacket on. I didn't have gloves. I didn't have whatever. And I wasn't expecting to be outside as long as I was. And my shoes are horrible so far as insulation. Um, but I mean, they're, 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 they track pretty good in the snow, but they are not really warm. And uh, so I am like in pain. I'm frozen so much. And so I started my vehicle, go to close the garage door, it does that thing where it drops and then it bounces back up, but it only bounces back up halfway. And I'm like, what? So I go to the wall and I'm pressing the button and over and over and I'm trying to get it to close. I finally had to press and hold the button until it closed and then hold it for like a second or two longer until I heard this big thunk kind of noise. And uh, I came in the house and ran my hands under like pure hot water and go back outside and I'm get into my vehicle. I'm trying to warm up. My vehicle has like heated steering wheels and, he and heated seats. So I'm sitting in there waiting for that to warm up, thinking that I'm going to get out of the garage. Like now that I'm in here, it, I'll eventually get it open. Nope. I tried it over and over and over and over and over and I could not get the, the garage to open. And then all of a sudden I hear this really loud grinding noise and then kind of like a build up of an engine kind of noise, but not an engine, um, a motor, I get, I, I don't know, a motor is an engine, but, and then it, so it did that for about a minute or two and then it just stopped. And I, I was like, oh my God, what is going on? My garage is going to fall on my head. So I didn't get out of my vehicle. I just like sat in my vehicle and, uh, and waited for it to stop. And then timidly opened the door and tried to peek out to see what was going on. Um, and I noticed right away that the spring above the garage door had snapped. And so I'm like, oh fuck. 
excuse my language, oh crap. So I called my husband and I'm like, you're not going to get into the garage. The garage is like, I can't open the door. The spring is busted. He was on his way home already at that point. And yeah, he goes out. Oh yeah, yeah, that's like, because. so right in at the center of the overhead door, there's like this bolt and then there's a spring coming out this side and a spring coming out this side. Well, the one coming out this side was one piece and then the one on this side was like three quarters of the length and then another, like the, the rest of it. And it was definitely separated. And so I went to um, the door and tried it and it, the motor would make a noise, but nothing would move. So um, came in the house, called a company, asked them if what I was seeing is what I thought it was and they said yes and that they probably wouldn't be able to get to it for a week or so. And I just said, oh my God, my car is in the garage. Like I can't get, I, I it's stuck in there. It like, is there some way to open it? Can you tell me? And he said, well, I can come and help you open it. Um, and then he looked at the schedule. I don't know if he was like a boss or whatever, but he had access to the schedule. And he said, actually, I do have a guy who has some opening. He has some open time tomorrow. And, uh, the company had closed, like they, it, it was already, I, I don't know, like five thirty or so when I called and, uh, they closed at five. So he figured it was the spring, but he did warn me, whoops. He did warn me that it very possibly could, um, when the spring broke, it could have stripped the gear. And, uh, the guy came this morning. He was here at about 10 o'clock this morning and he fixed the spring and he said only problem is that the gear is stripped and um, he didn't know if they had the part so he would have to go back to the shop and check and if not he'd have to go to this other company to grab it and for a little while I came back and fixed it and now it works again although my husband when he came home tonight he said the door wasn't working and I was like what and that's why he was calling me um, to say, could you come open up the garage door? <laughs> Cause it's not working on my end, but it turned out, I think the battery in his, uh, remote start are just like low or not the greatest because he was having problems with it before. So it's all fixed. Yay. <laughs> I just can't even believe like this, whatever. So now I should have gone grocery shopping today, but the guy just finished, I don't know. He finished this afternoon. And, uh, cause he went away for a little bit and then came back and, uh, should have gone grocery shopping cause we need so much, but I'm just like, I am, I'm seriously, I'm, it's, what time is it? It's three o'clock. I'm in my pajamas still. <laughs> I'm like, whatever. I'm emotionally exhausted. I did not sleep very well last night and then I had to wake up super early because the company had to call to get a pre-auth on my, my credit card. That's, um, I've never heard of any other company doing this, but, but they did and, uh, they require to put a hold on it like a hotel, um, just to guarantee that the funds are there to pay. Maybe they've had a few people say they'll pay and then they go to run the credit card and it doesn't work. So I, I understand whatever, no big deal. But she called me at seven 30 this morning and I had just fallen asleep at about, I don't know, five. She said he would be by uh, mid morning and he called at about nine. So I went back to sleep until he called and he called at nine and said, is it okay for me to come now? So, and then I had to stay awake to, cause I, I don't know. There's a stranger walking around my yard <laughs> Jeez. and the poor guy too. Like, so we can go out our front door, we can go out our back door, but he didn't want to walk through the house. And so he's like, is there any yard access or any other way to get into your garage other than the street? Because it wouldn't open from the street, like from the alley, um, because the door is screwed. <laughs> So we have our, our fence access, but it's at the side of the house and we don't shovel that because we don't use it in the winter time. And 
nobody we know needs to use it in the winter time but anyway so he had to trudge through the snow and then I had to start my vehicle and move my vehicle up because it was too close to the garage and he needed to get his ladder in there and so yeah anyway so it's been a long day I'm tired I'm emotionally worn out kind of just sort of laughing at the whole situation because like what the hell <laughs> oh you know what I think I'm done with the black and that is what I have been doing. So, yeah. So I think I, I, now that I have joined up this black and done whatever up until this point, I think I'm gonna leave it there. I don't even know how long I've been talking, um, but that mostly is like the thing that has uh, been going on. So this, um, cr I have this Cricut here. And it is sitting in a box and I have not opened it. Um, so I'm thinking about doing an unboxing. I also have, actually I got the notification today that it's arrived, but I'm not going out. <laughs> like I said, I'm in my pajamas. I'm not going out today. I refuse. Um, wanted to go out yesterday. So I, I ordered um, some snap cover minders from the Uncrafty Crafters Etsy shop and those did arrive so I'm really excited to go and get those but I'm not I'm gonna go do that tomorrow because I also have a pair of shoes that I need to return to Amazon um, and I need to box those up and send those in um, my mailboxes at a UPS store so that's where I um, Amazon said I had to send it so I'm just gonna do it all at one time it makes mo the most sense to me but anyways, so you guys, this is so nice. Let me turn off this light because maybe some, sometimes that makes it look better. Let's see if I can turn this away. Or No, it's not that one. I hate that glare off there. So it's going to make it look a little bit darker, but I don't know. I just, this is so pretty. And there's so much AB on this. Like it's just all over the place. I could see it when I did the unboxing and the kit up of it, but... Uh, Wow, it's just, I never really, this is the most AB I've seen on a Diamond Art Club painting. Um, and there's just still so much more to go. I've still got the whole top end of this painting. So I kind of, I put a mark on my canvas where my halfway point was. And I did much more than my halfway point on this side so I don't know I don't even know what I'm trying to say but I've got a ways to go on it I guess is what I'm, I'm trying to say and there's I still see lots of ABs that are going to be weaved in so it's going to look really pretty when it's done and it being square too I just love the way um, squares ripple when you I'm really liking this painting um, I, ho I hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed my story ay 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 I'm glad it's behind me, although I guess part of it isn't behind me because now that that one um, credit has been applied to my credit card, I have this other one that maybe might take another month to appear. I don't know. I have no idea. But I mean, honestly, I don't care. I wasn't expecting to get it for free. And it was just this guy was so weird. It was like, I can only refund you the rest of the balance. I can't refund you the amount she um, deducted for, for you already. And I'm like, I'm not asking you to. I, I'm literally just trying to ask you where it is and how I can figure out where it is. Anyways, and then like literally two days later it shows up. So I guess that's kind of like the, you know, that's sort of Murphy's Law. That's how it works. You, you phone and complain about something and then it gets fixed on its own if you just waited a few extra days, but I swear if I had waited a few extra days, it still wouldn't be there. It, and not called Amazon, it wouldn't be there. That's just how it works. I know, I know it's like, I know it. Anyways, you guys, I had fun rambling on about those things and I hope you enjoyed it too. If you did enjoy it, um, again, please give me a thumbs up. And also, um, if you feel like it, I would love it if you subscribe to the channel. That'd be awesome also. I hope you guys have a really great day and I hope your, your days are going normal and stress-free 
and I'll like just have all the stress for you guys. But you guys take care, stay safe, and I will catch you guys all in the next video. Bye!